Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Huge day today because we have the semi-finals of the NGDL4. I'm really excited to be in this game, really happy to have made it this far in the tournament. But however, our opponent today is Visually, uh, who is, among other things, a prominent PokeTuber, an expert battler, a draft league veteran, and the winner of many draft leagues, including the last season of this one. He's also a guy who I've never actually beat before, though we have faced off three prior times. And as you can see, his team is highlighted there by the Arceus. So, um, the deck couldn't be much more stacked in my favor to be blunt about it, but um, I'm determined if I'm going to be going down this week to go down swinging. Uh, as you can see, my team on the other side, uh, pretty much the same squad I've been rolling with um, this whole time. So um, this is going to be an uphill battle to say the absolute least. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So looking at his team, I really wasn't sure what he was going to want to lead with um, as he actually just ends up leading with the Arceus right out of the gate, uh, which actually is funny because I decided to lead with my Uber as well, the Xerneas. So my Fairy Aura is going to come into play right away. So uh, he is definitely going to outspeed me here. He is going to go straight for a Judgment um, to get some damage on me, probably see how much it's going to do. It does take me down by about a third, uh, but I am going to go for a Calm Mind here uh, to go ahead and get that special attack and special defense increase, trying to set up to do some big damage to his team here. So uh, he is going to go for the switch this turn, doesn't want to let me set up any farther with this thing. So he is going to come in with the Vile Plume, as I am just going to go on the offense with a Moon Blast this turn. And I actually end up taking this thing down to about a quarter health with a critical hit, which was really nice. That means um, another one will definitely take this thing out. So I am just going to go for that Moon Blast once again, and that will take care of the Vile Plume there and drop him down to five Pokemon. So then he is going to come in with Mimikyu, and uh, he is going to outspeed me here. He is actually going to decide to go ahead and bust out the Z-move, uh, which ends up being the Ghost Z-move, and that is of course going to be the never-ending Nightmare. So most likely this is coming off of Shadow Claw, but I am max HP, so I am hoping I might be able to survive this. And luckily I do end up surviving with 39 health in the red, which was nice. That is going to let me fire off another Moon Blast, which is going to break this, this thing's uh, disguise, which is what I needed. I do get the special attack drop, not that it matters, because this thing is physical most likely. Um, so uh, this turn he is just going to outspeed me once again, go for the Shadow Claw, and that will be more than enough to finish off my Xerneas and drop me down to five Pokemon as well. So then I'm going to come in with... Agron, and uh, he is going to go for the switch here, doesn't want to get taken out with a steel move, so he is going to come in with the Arceus once again, and I am going to go for the Mega Evolution into Mega Agron, and uh, I am just going to go for the Iron Head, hoping that he would uh, stay in there or maybe over predict, so that is only going to take this thing down by about a quarter, unfortunately. So this turn, he actually does catch me off guard here by going for a Willow Wisp, and he does land that to burn my Aggron, which really does suck since, of course, I am a physical attacker. My attack will be cut, so I hit him with another Iron Head, which is not going to do too much damage to him now that I am burned, and I am going to take some damage from that burn. So this turn, he is just going to go for the Stealth Rock to get that Entry Hazard set up on my side of the field, as I, ironically, am going to go for my Stealth Rock to go ahead and uh, get the Entry Hazard set up on his side of the field as well. And then I'm going to take some more damage from the burn. So uh, he is just going to go for a Recover this turn, uh, which is unfortunately going to go ahead and put him right back up to full health, which does suck. I am just going to go for another Iron Head here, trying to chip this thing down, thinking that he might not have any good moves for me. And then I do take more damage from the burn. So I'm going to go for the switch here, um, knowing there's really nothing else I can do to this thing with the Aggron. I'm going to switch in with my Incineroar, and I do take damage from the rocks. And I am going to get the Intimidate to lower this thing's attack, which is good, as uh, he is going to go for the Judgment once again. And that is going to knock me down to a little under half. 
So um, he is just going to go for the judgment once again, uh, just trying to wear me down here with that. And uh, that will take me down to about a quarter health, uh, but I am going to hit him with a Drain Punch in return. Unfortunately, he is carrying the Chopple Berry, so that is going to weaken the damage from the attack, so he is not going to take too much damage from that, and I am not going to gain uh, too much health back from that, unfortunately. So, uh, once again, he is just going to go for the Judgment, uh, hoping that it will be enough to finish my Incineroar off this turn. Uh, but luckily for me, I am able to hang on there with 4 HP in the red and uh, go for another Drain Punch, which will knock this thing down to about a quarter, which was nice. And then I am going to regain some more health with that, putting me back up to about a quarter. Unfortunately, I know I can't take another one of those, so uh, he is just going to go for that once again. And this time around, that will definitely be enough to finish off my Incineroar and drop me down to 4 Pokemon. So then... I am going to come in with my Como O, and I am going to take some damage from the rocks. And uh, he is going to go for the switch here, uh, probably predicting a scarf or something on my side. Um, he is going to come in with the Comfy, but I decided, as he does take damage from the rocks, to make a risky play here and go for the Dragon Dance instead. Uh, so I am going to get that uh, plus one attack and speed, setting up to do some big damage to his team, hopefully. So he is going to go for the Draining Kiss here, but I am actually carrying the uh, Roselia Berry, uh, which is going to uh, weaken the damage from a fairy attack that is super effective, so it's not going to do too much to me there, as uh, I am going to go for the Iron Head in return. Unfortunately, he does just barely survive that in the red, which really does suck. That is going to let him go for another Draining Kiss this turn. I am max HP, so luckily I do survive that in the red with 23 health. He does uh, regain uh, about half of his health from that, but I am going to go for another Iron Head, which will uh, definitely be enough to take this thing out this time around, and that will drop him down to four Pokemon. So um, then he is going to come in with Rotom, and take some damage from the rocks. And uh, he is going to outspeed me here, which uh, is confirmation that he is Choice Scarf. Unfortunately, he does hit me with the Volt Switch, which will be enough to finish off my Como O and drop me down to three Pokemon. And of course, he does get the Mandatory Switch, so he is going to come back in with the Arceus off that and take more damage from the rocks. So uh, then I am going to come in with Cresselia, and I am going to take some damage from the rocks as well. And uh, he is just going to go for the recover here, um, and that will, of course, put him back up to about three quarters health. I did predict that, though, so I am actually going to go for the Calm Mind this turn uh, to go ahead and get a special attack and special defense increase, trying to set up to do some uh, big damage to his team once again. So uh, he is going to go for the switch this turn back into the Rotom, and he will take more damage from the rocks, leaving him at about half health, as I do go for another Calm Mind here, again uh, trying to set up to do some big damage that will give me another special attack and special defense increase. So uh, this turn he actually is going to go for the Trick, uh, probably predicting me to go for another uh, Calm Mind, hoping to lock me into that since he is going to switch items. Um, he gives me the Scarf in exchange for my red card, uh, but I decide to go on the offense this turn with the Psychic, which actually worked out great in my favor. That is going to take out the Rotom and drop him down to three Pokemon. So then he is going to come in with Mimikyu and take some damage from the rocks, and I'm guessing he was hoping to outspeed me here, but thanks to the Choice Scarf that he gave me, I actually am able to outspeed this thing, go for a Psychic, which will one-shot kill and drop him down to two Pokemon. So things are looking pretty nice for me. He is going to come in with the Arceus again and take some more damage from the rocks. And uh, he is going to outspeed me despite my Scarf. Uh, he is going to go for the Recover here, which will put him back up to about uh, full health as I am going to hit him with a Psychic in return since I am locked into that, that will take him down to a little above half. So this turn he is going to go for the Willow Wisp uh, to go ahead and burn me, trying to get some residual damage on the Cresselia, as I do go for another Psychic here, trying to wear him down. And I actually end up getting a critical hit here, which was huge. That is going to take the Arceus out and drop him down to just one Pokemon, as I do take more damage from the burn. I'm not sure if maybe I would have got a high roll. It might have taken him out, depending on the spreads. But uh, either way, that is great for me. He is going to come in with the Zygarde 10% as uh, he does hit me with a thousand arrows here, but I am max HP, so I am able to survive that with about a third of my health, 
go for one more Psychic in return. And since I am at plus two, that is going to take out the Zygarde in one shot. And that is game. So I won that one 3-0 against Visually. Um, but that was a crazy match, um, unexpected match. Um, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now to, because to be completely honest with you guys, I did not expect to win that game um, with everything working against me. Um, but stuff happens in games as you see and uh, as much as it shocks me to say it and um, you know, uh, as much as I wasn't expecting to say it, the Philadelphia Pidgeys are going to the finals of the NG Deal 4. That is huge. That is awesome. I, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now because to be honest with you guys, when I first entered this tournament and saw the brackets and how everything was going to line up, I did not think that I was going to make it to the finals because me making it to the finals would mean that I would have to go through visually at some point, which wasn't something that I thought that I could do. So I am ecstatic that I was able to do so in one way or another. Um, and yeah, we are in the finals. This is, this is great. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, but thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment and or subscribe if you did enjoy and stay tuned for more new battles in the future, including the finals of the NGDL4 featuring the Philadelphia Pidgeys, Fly Pidgeys Fly. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.